All right, to start off, I'm going to be priming my eyes with Max Concealer in NC45. I'm just going to put that all over the lid to create a smooth and even canvas for my eyeshadows that I'm going to lay down. And I'm going to use I'm using this brush. I think I got it from like a dollar store or something. Just a very nice fluffy brush that I can blend out the concealer with. And I'm just going to do that on both sides. Now I'm going to set the concealer with some Sasha Buttercup powder. You can pretty much set it with any kind of powder that you feel. I'm just using that one. Now I'm going into my MAC um, Warm Palette and I'm just going to take that dark color that's on the left side to the bottom and I'm going to make that as my transition color and I almost forgot to add my tape and then I'm going into that Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and pick up the color. I have all the colors listed in the description box below and I'm just going to darken up the crease a little bit more as you see me doing here and I'm just going to go back and forth in between colors and blend until I get the desired color that I want. Next I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever Artist Shadow and I'm going to go over top of that brown to add the transition color. I know it's, I'm backwards by adding my transition color third but for this look I just really want it to show up so that's why I added it. Then I'm taking this purple color here back into the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to put that right below the brown shade as you can see me doing here just gonna try to blend everything all together the purple didn't show up like I thought it would but it's working for this look so I'm not gonna complain I'm gonna do the same on both sides just really blend as far as my cut crease I'm using the NYX white base cut crease and I'm just gonna be really really careful to try and cut the crease I always screw up the cut crease and have to go back and you know touch up here and there but I have found that this is the easiest way for me to actually cut my crease and I've tried drawing out that line and making it dark it's just that's a struggle for me so this is the easiest way I just cut it with the white base and I go back and clean it up to make it look very nice now I'm going into the electric palette and I'm going to take that silver shade and I'm gonna lay it down. You wanna lay down a color that is closest to the glitter that you're gonna use. So in this case, this silver shade was the closest color and I'm just gonna be careful and make patent motions all over the white base to try to keep it from transferring up onto my lid because I do have hooded eyelids. So I struggle a lot with trying to keep my eyeshadows from transferring onto my upper lid. So that's, I just try to be very careful. For liner, I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the color black and I'm just going to line my top lash line and I'm going to try to line it as close to my lash line as possible and get it real sharp. My tape usually helps me get my wing pretty sharp because I am going to wing it out as you see here. Now just, just take your time and try to get the line as straight as possible as you can. Now I'm going to be taking Max Mix and Medium and that's what I'm going to use as my glitter base. I'm just going to be very careful when I place down the Mix and Medium. I just literally want to put it on that silver shadow that I put on my lid. So you need a very, very small brush to apply the Mix and Medium and you want to let it dry. And I'm just really, really trying to take my time with this because this is the part that's going to determine if my glitters lay right or not. So just take your time and place the mix and medium where you need it. Now I'm going into my Ambrosia Cosmetics Glitter and Ice Queen. And as you can see, I grabbed up a different brush, but still a very small brush. And I'm laying down the glitter in sections, trying very, very careful not to get it up there on my upper lid. And like I said, guys, you just really, really want to take your time because this is the part that's going to make or break the look. Now I'm struggling getting that tape off, but I'm going to pull it off and um, see what I have. And I, of course, everything wasn't going to go right. I messed up my liner, but I'm going to fix that later on in the video. You'll see. And I'm just, I place my lashes on off camera. I'm just trying to get them straightened out real good. Now, as you know, I have dry skin. So before I put on primer, I usually put on a good moisturizer. This is the Vine Vera moisturizer that I got out of the mall when I went to Atlanta. It's like one of those um, deep sea 
products that are for you know healthy radiant skin and all of that so but I really really love it I'll link the website down in the description box below as far as foundation I'm using the Clinique perfecting foundation and concealer and I am in the color 26 amber I'm just gonna kind of swipe that all over spraying my brush and I'm gonna be using this L flat top brush starting out I'm gonna just try to smooth all the foundation out and once that done for me I went switch to my beauty blender and I'm just sponging everything so it looks like it's a very airbrush nice look so that's what I'm doing here Now as far as under eye concealer, I'm going in with my trusty NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and I'm in the color Amon Dark 3. Really, really love this concealer. I have not used no other concealer since I've picked this up. But I said I was going to try some different ones to, you know, see what I like to try to get off that a little bit. I just want to try something new. To set it, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup Powder again and I'm just going to set everything under my eyes, my forehead, my nose my cupid's bow and my chin and I try not to use so much because like I said I do have dry skin so the what I do use I try to press as much as I can into the skin let alone having to have a lot caked up and dusted off so for bronzer slash contour, I'm using the Girl On Terracotta Bronzer in the color 09. I absolutely love this bronzer. That has been the only bronzer that I have found that actually bronzed my face. As a dark woman, you hardly ever find a bronzer. As far as setting and dusting off that powder, I usually dip it into my Black Up Cosmetics Foundation Powder, as you see me doing here, and I just dust away the remainder of the powder. And I just love the finish that it gives, so... That's why I do that. I didn't get the desired brightness that I wanted up under my eyes, so I just went in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to brighten it up just a little bit. And then, as you can see, I didn't let it sit or anything. I'm just dusting it right on away. Now I'm going to go be going back in my MAC Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm going to use that to try to contour, just add a little bit more color to my face because I was looking a little bland and I'm just using that to kind of color, color my face a little bit and contour around the perimeter of my face. To line my under eye, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Silk Seam Liner in black and I'm just going to tight line my eyes I just love the look that it gives and for blush I am going in with max raisin blush it just don't seem like it's as dark as it normally is I don't know maybe it's the colors that I have on my face or something but I'm just using that subtle blush and for highlight I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Prosecco pop and I'm mixing it with the champagne pop for my under eye lashes, I'm using the MAC Zoom Lash. I absolutely love, love the way this makes my eyelashes look, considering that I don't have many. So I'm just going to kind of double up with my mascara under my lash. This particular lip liner that I'm using, I got so aggravated with it, I threw it away before even looking to see what color it was. So excuse me, I'm very sorry because I do not know the color. I just threw it away. So I won't be using it again. But for liquid lipstick, I'm using ColourPop in the color LAX. I absolutely love dark lips. If you watch my channel, then you know that I'm a dark lip person. So that dark lip just set it off for me. Okay, to set my face, I'm just using my favorite MAC Fix Plus. I use that to help set and bring moisture back into my face. And that is it. That is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you like the video, please, please give me a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.